hey welcome once again to the this video so this video we are going to talk about the b2c b2c is the uh, payment method by mpesa which is an api that when user request it automatically withdraw it's like for example when you go to a betting site that's the example when you withdraw your funds that you have won it only sends you a message automatic and funds your mpesa after you've requested the withdrawal so in this video we're going to do this so me for me here i have already coded the b2c code now this is the b2c and i'm going to show you on how you can get all these credentials that are going to be required in order to, for you to get them b2c tra uh, to, to initiate the b2c payment so first we will come here at initiate a name and in order to do this i will show you the simplest way of getting you just come here to apis then click let's go here then when you click let's go you to load here then choose the app that is there then you can see you've been provided here with test credential or you can just come here at the bottom then click here so this is the initiator name that we are going to use then replace it there then after that here and click initiator password then initiator password there then after this you come and uh, what next do we require you can take the business code the business code that we're going to use i'm going to do this i'm going to cancel this then pick this one this one will work this part here then here the part a is here then paste it there after that go and uh, get the phone number in this case this phone number is the number that it will send the number that will send the money to or will be topped up automatically now come here and take this this is the one that we are going to use for example let me pick it from here because it's simpler then just come here and paste it here then here we can enter the amount that we want then there is the security credential so this security credential i'm going to show you how you can generate it uh, for, for this video i will just generate then demonstrate the b2c then i'm going to show you on how you can generate the security credential by itself using the code so just let's come here and uh pick pick what pick the security credential they have seen the like two types of ways that you can do you can just come here then generate from this just pick it pick that one then this then copy that you can reload here to refresh to in order to get the uh, go uh, the security credential but uh, me i'll just take it there because i'm using it for demo then i will explain in another video on how you can generate it automatic so just paste it there then come here and get the command id so the command id you can decide if it is salary payment business payment or promotional mostly this is used for betting betting then business uh, if you want to pay business transactions and this is for salary so these are the only command id that you can do even when you come here at the documentation these are what well, this is the only command id that you can do so for us we will use salary payment here we will use here salary payment oh, salary payment there so we can see we have already filled all the requirement and then we will echo the response so now let us uh, come and uh, and reload and see if we will get this uh we will get uh, a success response so let me see from from this documentation let me see the success how the success response should look like so if we get it it means that the b2c is working successful so let me see as it loads here so here is the b2c api let's see the response so the result body this is what will be sent so the response body here this so if we get this this response body it means that it has worked successful so let's come to our application here then write b to c then enter write b to c then enter you can see from there we have uh, initiated the b2c auto uh, the b2c transaction you can see it's okay Okay. now when when you apply it in production it will automatically withdraw from the from the b2c pay bill in, and then it will top up automatic to 
this so for us here you, this is the this means that it's working successful so when you replace it with uh, b2c uh, b2c pay bill uh, credentials here your live one it will withdraw automatic but in order to uh, the, the, uh, for this b2c there are important things that you should understand that the initiator name there is a way you can create it from mpesa portal for production and for password you will set it for mpesa portal when you're going live then the security credential this is not the recommended way but this we are using it for uh, we're using it for for demonstration for this p2c so that we can trigger and see if we have triggered it successful but for the next video i'm going to show you on how you can generate the security credential automatic so this is what you should know about the b2c see you in the next video